This video is brought to you from the folks at Emotiva. Maybe it's time to rethink high end. The NHT Super Zero speakers have the sort of following in AV that presidential candidates hope for. Now, the original Super Zeros were hailed as outperforming speakers many times their price, and a legend was born. Now, I've never had the opportunity to hear the original Super Zero speakers, so it was a great honor to get a chance to review the new Super Zero 2.1 mini monitors. Now, NHT has also sent over their Super 8 subwoofer, you know, just to round out the system. To start with, Super Zero speakers are gorgeous. They've got this black gloss finish, and they're really actually pretty heavy for their size. And uh, there's five-way binding posts on the back, along with a threaded insert for wall mounting. The Super Zeros are small at uh, just under a foot tall, so putting them on a wall for surround speakers is definitely doable. Now, under the removable uh, grill, you have a one-inch silk dome tweeter and a 4.5-inch paper cone woofer. The Super Zeros are rated down to 85 hertz, which seemed about right to us. We had the Cambridge Audio Azure separates in for review, and for kicks, we also connected those. Now, the Azure uh, separates send a full-range signal to the main speakers. We experimented with turning the volume up to see if the Super Zeros would distort. Much to our surprise, they didn't. NHT chose the sealed cabinet design as it mechanically limits the woofer from bottoming out. And the compliance of the woofer material further limits excursions at low frequencies. Obviously, NHT intended these speakers to be uh, used with a sub and not played at full range. Which, actually, that's exactly what I did. That was for science. <laughs> Anyhow, the Super Zeros are constructed out of 12 millimeter, just under an inch or half an inch, MDF. Uh, they're a sealed design, making wall mounting no problem. Now, the Super 8 Sub has, as you might expect, an 8 inch driver with a paper cone. It's constructed out of a 15 millimeter MDF, which is just over a half an inch. Its enclosure is a cube sealed and uh, perfect uh, design for smaller rooms. Now, rated to extend to just under 40 hertz at negative 3 dB, you can't really expect thunderous bass from the Super 8. It has a Bash 110 watt amp with all the usual controls and connections, including you've got uh, line level, high level input, space switch, and auto power on. There's also actually a switch for music versus movie mode as well. According to the manual, the uh, music mode uh, provides lower and more balanced bass. And out of the two modes, obviously, that's what I went for because, well, lower, more balanced bass, duh. <laughs> anyway, uh, the sound quality of the Super Zero speakers was just phenomenal. Highs were natural and airy, and the speakers didn't flinch when I drove them to extreme volume levels. I also loved the way they looked and could see how they got such a great reputation. The speakers seemed um, very linear and reproduced music without a lot of coloration. And at just $100 a piece, they're an easy recommendation. Now, I wasn't as much in love with the Super 8 sub. It was a perfectly adequate performer, especially for the $350 price tag, but the low bass was absent. <laughs> for most music and movies, uh, the Super 8 will be just fine, especially if you put it in a small room. But if you want to feel your bass as much as you hear it, then you're going to want to look for something with a little bit more depth and power. As a group, the Super Zero 2.1 speakers and the Super 8 sub make a formidable combination. In an office or a small theater, they're going to rock. The Super Zero speakers in particular are great speakers to grow into. You can buy them as an upgrade to your TV or home theater in a box, and you're going to love them. And then later, you can move them to the back of the room and wall mount them and use them as surrounds. Versatile, beautiful, and priced right, the Super Zero 2.1 speakers retain their reputation as being fantastic value for their performance. Visit Audioholics and sign up for our newsletter to get our free 2014 Top Picks AV Gear Guide. That's your homework assignment, so make sure to do it now.